Welcome back to Endless Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add a new page in SharePoint. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on SharePoint, just click on the create account and follow the instructions and you're good to go. Adding a new page in SharePoint can serve a lot of purposes depending on the specific needs of your organization or project. Now, let me tell you pages in SharePoint help organize and categorize information logically. And for you to be able to create one, go to the uh, site that you have created in SharePoint. And once I'm here, all you're going to do is, you see the uh, page details? We don't have that yet because we haven't created a page. All you're going to do is click on the new button here, the plus icon, click on page. What will happen is you would be forwarded to the different page templates. All right. Now, you see, you have an option on creating, a, if you're new to this, if you're creating a page or a news post for the first time, you'll learn the basics in this interactive tour. Or if you've done this before, just skip the tour and go straight to creating your page or news post. Now, the templates that contain the full range of web parts for general use can be standard, blank, visual, basic text, video, training, recap, and message. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is just choose to any of it. Right now, I'm going to create a blank. I'm going to stretch from scratch, add columns, text, message, links, videos, and more. All right. I'm going to click on the create page. And voila, here's the page already. Now, you can, matter of fact, you can actually uh, put some information here. You can add images. Click on the browse images. We have a separate video on how to add images in our uh, YouTube channel. You might want to check that out. But basically, what I'm going to do is to click on upload. All right. And once it's loaded, all I'm going to do is click on the add image. And it's up to you how to make your page interactive. You can create pages to serve as a document libraries where files relevant to a particular topic or project are stored, managed, and easily accessed by team members. All right. And of course, SharePoint can include an analytics tool or dashboard that provides insights to key metrics, performance, and indicators. It's up to you because pages can be designed to reflect your organization's branding guidelines, ensuring consistency in appearance and user experience across all SharePoint sites. Because SharePoint pages are designed to be responsive, making them accessible and functional on various devices, including desktops, tablets and smartphones i believe that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one